Welcome to Radiance Yoga Online. I'm Shannon and today I'm going to bring you through a restorative yoga sequence at the wall. Restorative yoga is a type of yoga where we use props and our body weight to just fall into the poses. So there's no effort. The practice is in letting go and passively stretching your body and bringing both your mind and body to a calmer place where you can restore. All you're gonna need today is some big open wall space like I have here and one blanket. I'm actually gonna recommend two blankets. They don't have to be yoga blankets, but I like to use two. One is gonna pad my hips and the other is going to be laid across my torso, kind of like a weighted blanket, which just adds to the experience. If you don't have blankets handy, you can, you actually would be fine without anything at all. Um, but I like at least a little bit of padding, maybe a bolster or just doubling up your mat would work as well. So when you're ready, join me. I'm going to take my blanket and just fold it up to about this size, a little bit of cushion, and just put it right in front of the wall here. I'll keep my other blanket nearby so I can grab it. Now, the way that I set up is I'm going to get nice and close to the wall. So my left hip, or maybe your right hip, is right against the wall, and I'm at the edge of my blanket. Now I want to carefully swing my legs up the wall as I allow my torso to come down to the floor. So you don't need your hips and your legs jammed up against the wall. In fact, if you have tighter hamstrings, you want to be a little farther away so that you're not straining to be here. It should be nice and comfy. But you might scooch a little bit, get your hips a little closer to the wall, so that your feet are as close to being over your hips as you can. Now this is where I'm going to take my second blanket and just drape it over my torso to give myself a little bit more weight and grounding. Now this first pose is called legs up the wall and this is all you need to do. So I want to guide you in with your breath. When you're ready Take a big inhale through the nose. And as you exhale, open the mouth and let it go. As you do so, every exhale, feeling yourself ground. With every breath, bringing your mind to a different point in your body, like your fingers, your toes, the heaviest part of your hips, or your shoulders. And as you exhale, visualize your breath leaving that spot in your body. And as it does so, it just lets go of any tension any control that you're holding on to and we let gravity take over and do the work for us stay with your breath now even this light inversion with the legs up the wall might be new and it can become intense for some so if you ever need to, you can bend the knees, bring the knees to your chest. But I want to encourage you to breathe as long as inversions are safe for you. Allow yourself to spend some extra time here, reversing the blood flow and the lymph flow. This is a great pose for refreshing the mind. We're just winding down right before bed. And I'm gonna invite you 
to deepen and continue your breath. And I'm going to allow you to rest here in silence for a few more moments. Deepening your breath again. You might wiggle the fingers and toes and just bring some awareness back to where you are. And now from here, I want you just to drop your right ankle somewhere across your left leg, maybe on the shin, not on the knee, maybe crossing over the top of the thigh. Now flex this ankle, so you don't want it to be lazy. Actively flex it, and that helps to protect the knee here. And you may already be feeling a stretch deep in the right hip. You can gently push that knee away, maybe feeling a little bit more. And then to intensify, you're simply gonna bend your left knee, maybe just letting the heel slide down the wall an inch or two. Isn't that fantastic? I love this assisted figure four stretch. If you're more flexible, you might find you bend the knee, slide the foot down, and even put the left footprint on the wall. Keeping this right knee wide, keeping the ankle flexed, the ankles active, protecting the knee. We'll be here just a little bit shorter than the first pose, but I want to encourage you still to come back to the breath Soften the fingers, the toes, the arms. Soften your legs as much as you can while they maintain this position. Anywhere where you feel active and straining, you want to let go of. So if the stretch is too intense and you can't fall into it, back out of it a little bit by pushing that heel back up the wall. Keep the front of the throat open rather than cramming the chin to the chest. And just count about five to 10 slow, full breaths for yourself. slide your left foot back up the wall. Gently slide the right foot up, shake out the legs a little bit, point and flex the toes. That stretch can get intense, so just take a moment. Coming back to this neutral place on the wall. Now whenever you're ready, that left ankle is gonna drop, maybe just to the shin if you have trouble, or you have a lot of tightness in the hip today or down over the top of the thigh. Ankle flexed and active. Let the knee rotate open. And then as much or as little as you'd like, your right foot slides down the wall, deepening your figure four and opening up that left hip. While there may be intensity in the hip, can you bring your awareness to your belly and the weight of your torso sinking? Your arms 
is falling. Simply following the rise and fall of your breath. stretch or even feel free to slide that leg back up the wall if it's too much today. On your next breath, we'll stretch that left leg back up the wall, shake out the toes and the ankles. And now from here, we're gonna bring the feet together. As best you can, drop the soles of the feet to touch and just allow the knees to bend as the feet fall down the wall. No work to be here. If you feel you're too close to the wall and you're pressing into the wall with your hips lifting, then just scoot yourself back a little bit more. Back to scanning the body, arms and legs falling, belly soft. Especially that space in the front of your pelvis and your lower belly, and soft and full with your breath. Your outer thighs and your knees just feel heavy like the ground is rising up to meet them. allow you to enjoy just a few moments of silence in your bound angle. you might use a little assistance from your hands. Gently bring the knees together here in the middle and one at a time extend your legs back up the wall. Coming into our final pose today, you're going to keep your heels reaching up and away from you and now just let the heels fall away from each other sliding down the wall we relax the outer hips, the inner thighs, and the legs. And again, this one might offer a lot of intensity here through the inner thighs and the hips. Find a place where it's not so intense that it's distracting, but there's a little bit of intensity, just an edge so that you can benefit from the passive stretch. Breathe, soften, and remembering those 
those heaviest parts of your body and bringing your awareness to that sensation of grounding into the floor beneath you, the earth beneath this floor, the center of the earth, drawing you closer. Now you might find that as you remain here in the stretch longer, your hips relax, you get a little bit more space in your heels. We'll occasionally just slide just a little further down the wall. And that's great. Don't force it. But when it happens, it'll be proof that you're not hanging on and you're not controlling, which is exactly what we want. We want gravity to do the work. Your body weight just falls and you get to relax and enjoy the benefits. Deep in the breath. Stay here for a few moments. And if you need to, your legs just slide back up. use your hands for a little assistance since you have slid into a deeper place. Slightly bend the knees and you're going to slide your heels inward as you bend the knees deeper and deeper and deeper until your knees and your inner thighs meet right over your belly. Take a moment to take a gentle rock side to side. And if you feel like remaining in this practice longer, you can extend your legs back up the wall or push away from the wall to lay down in a traditional Shavasana, arms and legs on the floor. If you're ready to leave your practice, you're just going to reach your right arm up by your ear and roll to your right side. Be very slow and gentle with yourself not waking up too quickly. If you are getting ready for bedtime, I want you to keep the eyes as heavy as you can and find your way to your bed. And if you're waking up and moving on with the rest of your day, then just take your time as you come to sit and we come back to our space, back to whatever's ahead of us with heavy eyes. Take a big breath with me in through the nose and out through the nose. Notice what has shifted, how your energy, your focus has changed. Now when you're ready, join the palms together at your heart center. And I thank you for slowing down, taking this time to make yourself a priority and give back to yourself. Namaste.